I'm Anna Smiley with Mississippi State University Extension Service and today we will be constructing um, how to put together a watermark soil moisture sensor. So the material you'll need is a half inch 315 class PVC pipe. You'll also need a PVC cutter, um, the PVC primer, PVC cement, your actual watermark soil moisture sensor, black caps, and then you'll have your color-coded um, tape. The black tape just represents the depth that the soil moisture sensor gets put into the soil. The blue tape represents the six inch sensors. White tape is the 12 inch sensors. The red tape is the 24 inch sensors and the orange or yellow tape is the 36 inch sensors. You'll also need a Sharpie and you will need a drill with a 3 16 inch um, drill bit. So first you'll take your PVC pipe and you will measure 10 inches longer than the uh, intended sensor depth. So the sensor I'll be demonstrating is the 24 inch sensor. So you'll measure to 34 inches. Um, so measure out 34 inches and then you will mark it with your Sharpie. And then after it's marked, you'll take your PVC cutter and you will cut the PVC pipe. I won't actually cut it because I do already have a 24 inch sensor um, right here. So after you've cut it, you'll measure four inches from the top of the PVC pipe and you'll take whichever color coded tape you need and we'll need the red since it's a 24 inch sensor. So you'll take the red tape and you will wrap it around the sensor all the way around. And then after you've done that, you will take your drill and your 3 16 drill bit and on the other side where the tape is not you will measure about a fourth inch up from the bottom and you will drill a wheat pole. I'm not going to actually drill it because I already have a hole um, drilled right there. So you'll drill your wheat pole and then after that is done you'll get your PVC primer and you will prime the inside of your PVC pipe where the wheat pole is about a half an inch up the PVC pipe. Okay. Now once that's done you'll allow it to dry for a few minutes. Okay so once you've primed your PVC pipe allow the primer to dry and once it's dried you will thread your sensor wires through the PVC pipe. And you will thread it all the way through until the, um, until the sensor collar meets the PVC pipe. Once the sensor collar meets the PVC pipe, you'll take the PVC cement and you will apply the appropriate amount to the sensor collar. And then before you attach the sensor collar into the actual PVC pipe, you'll want to line up the wheat pole on the sensor collar with the actual drilled wheat pole. And once those align, you'll push the sensor into the PVC pipe all the way and make sure that those holes align so you can ensure that water flows through your um, sensor. And then once that is done, you will top it off with a black cap. And then that concludes the um, construction of how to make a watermark soil moisture sensor.